and welcome back to my channel. So this is the second box that I have filmed today. And again, for those of you that follow my channel, I just got the where you can post something for the first time. So I asked, and it was a poll, whether my viewers would like to see Trendsend or Stitch Fix first. So this is Trendsend. And depending upon the outcome of that poll, you'll see which video shows up first. But both boxes, I had asked for some holiday styling, especially um, geared towards being able to go to Christmas Eve Mass. And I usually do get dressed up for Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is more laid back. We just hang out at our house and, you know, you open in gifts. So Christmas Day is just more comfortable, casual. Christmas Eve is where we get more dressed up, and, you know, look, not, I guess, nice. But, you know, so... I feel like if you, I don't want to spoil my Stitch Fix if you haven't seen it yet, but I do want to say that Transcend delivered um, in every way possible. So I'm wearing the first outfit already, and you're going to see more very shortly. But just so you know, I had asked for the holiday, so, wow, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, soiree i believe it's a holiday soiree theme box sorry guys it's been sunday and it's been a long weekend already um but let me read my stylist note i believe i have the same stylist which is awesome i got anna k again and she writes janine happy holidays and welcome to your holiday soiree theme box it's official the holiday season is here this time of the year always goes so fast doesn't it with cooler temps and seasonal cheer I wanted to send fun and versatile layers for Christmas Eve mass and family dinner. We didn't have the items you had on your wish list, but I did find some amazing alternative smiley face. Mix and match your new favorites with your favorite winter staples to create endless options for any occasion. Enjoy, styled for you by Anna Kay. And then she actually wrote even a personalized note. I hope you love your holiday inspired box, Janine. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. So, here's her little personal note. And I'm telling you, I just can't say enough how much I love, love Trendsun. And I know some people say Trendsun and Ever Eve. That's the store, in case I didn't mention. Trendsun is styled by the boutique store Ever Eve. Um, but Trendsun, subscription style box. I get it on demand. You can get it every, um, like on intervals, like every couple of weeks, every month, every other month. Um, but when they style you, they charge you $20, but that $20 styling fee can get applied to anything in the box. And if you keep four or more items, you get an extra 10% off. If you use my link in the comments and have never tried Trendsend, you get an extra 20% off your box and I would as well. So. What can I say? I hope you use my link because I'm not stopping with Trendsun. I love Trendsun. Uh, extra 20% or not, I just love them. Um, but let's dig right in. I'm going to get to that first outfit and hang on. So here's the first outfit and let's discuss. So on top, this is the Ally Sheer Shine Top and it's by Rowan and Ryan. It's in a bronze color, size small. And I will pan down, you'll be able to see it shortly. I have on by Allison Joy, the Frankie Wide Leg Pant. It's in black and the size small. So far, I am loving this outfit. There is another top in this box and I'm gonna switch to it shortly because that's also outfit two. This is outfit one and you'll see that in a little bit. But for outfit one, my stylist says I'm Am I obsessed with this look? Maybe. Smiley face. Wear your Frankie wide leg pant with the gorgeous Rowan and Ryan Alley Sheer Shine Top tucked, bold earrings, and a great shoe like the Sam Edelman Hazel Pump in gold. Honestly, guys, I'm not a pumps girl. I don't know about you, but I was eyeing and looking, and you're going to see in a few minutes when I pan down what I'm wearing with them, but I was looking at, and I think it was by Schutz, a pair of... Um, heeled booties um like a stiletto heel booty and 
they were expensive on every site. And again, you know me, I'll splurge, but I happen to be walking in my local mall and Express is closing and they had an almost similar pair, like, a, like I thought they were them at first. So, and I go to look and because the store is closing, you got an extra 40% off. So I ended up buying them, they were in my size. So when you see, that's what I'm wearing with this outfit. Let me know if you like the look, but I'm kind of liking it. I'm digging it. But let me discuss now the items. So look at this pretty, pretty top. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely um, a statement piece. It's gorgeous. I don't know. I mean, you'll see the next top. I'm, I'm kind of struggling. I don't know because I like this, but I do like the next one too. But you can wear this top buttoned. I would not, just so you can see, I'm not. you can wear it all the way buttoned, but they also showcase it, so it's kind of got this deep V. I'm kind of liking the deep V better than like buttoned all the way up, and I would wear jewelry I have. Um, I didn't put on for this video, but here is tuck, just tucked in, and I'll pan down so you can see the pants and the boots and all of that in a moment, but here it is with just a front tuck. And here's what it looks like in the back without, I wouldn't wear it completely tucked in. I like that front tuck. And by the way, it has like, I don't know if you can see, but it has like a, a layer underneath. So it's got like a black slip top underneath, which I kind of like. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, really pretty. And oh, by the way, when I panned in, it's like this ruching on the sleeve. Oh, I'm liking it. It's definitely got some bling going on. So again, here's the front. And here's the back. And I'm going to pan down so you can see the pants and the booties. So again, here are the pants. We're going to pull back so you can see the wide leg. And they have pockets, working pockets on the front. I'm really really liking these booties and they're comfortable which I'm kind of in shock how comfortable they are and here again it's just the back so you're going to have to let me know what you think of this top versus the next one that I'm switching into. So hang on. <laughs> okay. I have switched and in the process, my husband saw this top and he may have made the decision for me at this point. He told me I look like a grandma in this top. So I don't know. I don't know if a 44 year old woman wants to be told she looks like a grandma when her kids are not even teen age at tween. So you be the judge though. Let me know. So let's discuss. So outfit two, effortlessly elegant pair your wide Frankie wide leg again with the wine dot button down tucked fun with a booty like the shuts Mickey booty. See, I told you the shuts booty. Add your leather utility shirt jacket for an added warmth and style, which I'll put on in a second. Um, but again, this this top is by Cloth and Stone. It's in the wine dot pattern and it's a size small. So let me show you the pattern. Really pretty. I don't know, like the dots are almost like a pinkish blush kind of color and then this maroon base to the top. Let me back up so you can see. Okay, so here it is tucked in, in the front, and I did a front tuck again, so it's a little longer in the back, right over like the booty area, and I'm going to throw on, like they said, this is by Good American, and I will discuss this in a second, but this shacket, I guess you could say is how 
my stylist envisioned this outfit. So, back up so you can see. Full length, front, back. And this jacket, it's like a vegan leather material. So this, sorry about that, is the Leather Utility Shirt Jacket by Good American in a size one. So, and it's cute. Like I said though, now I've been told I look like somebody's grandma. So <laughs> that just made my day, but okay. Um, I am gonna come back though with outfit three and I'm combining, I'm not, I'm not gonna do there are six outfits, but it kind of intersperses some of these items worn a different way. We're just gonna stick to the next outfit three and then the, I think it's the fifth, yeah, the fifth outfit. So hang on and I'll be back with outfit three and then outfit five. So back with outfit three and still the wide leg trouser look, but this is a little bit more of a casual, I guess, look. But let me read the note. It says, add a little color to the cool season with the Beth wide leg trouser, size down due to fit uh, slash stretch, and pair with the playful Paxton double cut out turtleneck pullover bold earrings pumps slash wedges. And that, so the items in this outfit on top, this is the Paxton double cut out turtleneck pullover, brand is Ever Eve, color black, extra small. And when I pan down the pants are the, also by Ever Eve, the Beth wide leg trouser in peacock blue, size 25. So let's take a look. The first thing I can tell you is I don't mind a turtleneck. I know some people have an issue doesn't bother me. The thing that, I don't know, the cold shoulder I feel has kind of come and gone, so I'm not so sure I'm loving that. Moreover, this cold shoulder is not bra friendly, so I'd have to, this is a convertible bra, I just did not feel like dealing with that because I'm not keeping this on all day, but I think I'd have to, you know, move this bra so that it, the straps wouldn't show, I guess you could say. It doesn't seem to me I guess you can push them in or you could use that like the thing that you bought I bought it from Amazon where you can keep your bra straps in more um but I don't know if it's worth it because I don't know if I'm loving you have to let me know I don't know if I'm loving that cold shoulder look anymore but here is the color just plain simple black I'll back up so you can see the length of the sweater paired with the peacock blue pants, which these pants, they have pockets in the front. They're like a very uh, wide pocket. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit of like gaping there. I don't know if I'm loving that. Um, but here's the front. I'll turn to the back and they do fit. She's right about the sizing down. I don't have any gaping and I got them on, no issue. So that was good. Um, I, I'm gonna come down so you can see the full length of these. So hang on. So here's the full length. And again, I'm wearing the booties from Express. And they are wide leg, so. So that was outfit three. And as promised, I'm gonna switch and come back with outfit five. So hang on, like I said, I'm not gonna um, show you the other outfits in between and mix and match. I wanna make this video short and concise, but that you can see the items in the box. So I will be back now. So I'm switching this up now. And like I said, I skipped outfit four. I'm gonna read you the note real quick for outfit four because technically, my stylist had said to pair this sparkly top 
with those uh, wide leg trousers. So it was pretty much um, same items you're seeing, but for outfit four, it was stun in your sanctuary all nighter mock neck. So it's this top. Not always a fan of sequins myself, but this is done right. And the wide leg trouser, those blue wide leg trousers, simple jewelry and footwear like the Vince Camuto Ecatini loafer. So that was outfit four, but this is outfit five. So in outfit five, same top, but we're switching and we're using in skinny jean from Cut From The Cloth. So let me read this. If it feels like a denim kind of day, wear your dark wash high rise Connie ankle skinny with beautiful all nighter mock neck on its own or or layered under the A. Goldie Utility Vegan Leather Shacket. So, the first item, this is by A. Goldie. This um, is, and you'll see all the prices, I should have said this before, in the comments, but this is like the most expensive item in here, uh, coming in right under $300. This is the um, A. Goldie Utility Vegan Leather Shacket Color Powder Extra Small. And the top, which when I take this off, you'll see better, is the All Nighter Mock Neck by Sanctuary, the brand is Sanctuary, in black, size small. And the jeans are the High Rise Connie Ankle Skinny, cut from the cloth brand, Alter Color, size 2. So let's take a look. And if I pull away, you can see how long this jacket is. It has snaps, so you could snap it all the way um has like has a pocket here a pocket here which is kind of a weird place for a pocket none on the side the front very long in the back Just making sure like down below like my tush is here like all the way down um it actually came with the sleeve cuffed like this like it was not snapped down so I kept it that way but I don't know I do have a cream colored jacket it is more of like a um like fleecy not fleece I guess you could say like a no it it's more cloth material from old navy and I paid like 30 something dollars for it when it was on sale so I know this is nice, and yes, it is a vegan leather, but I don't even pull for that one as much as I should, so I'm not so sure for the price I would even consider. I don't think I need it, to be honest with you, but let me take this off. Hang on. And let's take a look at the sequence top. So this black sequenced color. I will say, again, not not an issue with the bean turtleneck. I just did the little clasp in the back. There is a zipper. I did not zip it because I didn't want to have to worry about getting this zipped and unzipped uh, for taking it off afterwards. But <laughs> yes, there is a zipper in the back. So here is the length. It's cute, but I want to make one comment. Like I noticed when I was trying it on, like, it's not doing it now, but I noticed, like, my sleeve would get, like, caught on the sequins over here. So I'm, like, I'd be afraid that I would, like, pull the sequins off, you know, when I'm moving. So I don't know. I'm not. That is one thing that I did notice when I was trying it on. But it's, like, an elastic wrist. And here's the front. Here's the back. It is pretty. I'm not going to deny. And I'm not really a sequence girl, but if I was going to go with the sequence top, I I do like it. I just, like I said, I'm a little afraid. Like when I'm moving, I do feel the sequence and just did it. I just felt the sequence like getting caught. But let me pan down so you can see these jeans. Hang on. These are from Cut From The Cloth. Working pockets in the front. They are high rise. So I do like that. You can see the back. No gaping. 
good fit. But they're skinny and I have them cuffed once because they're a little long. And I still have my booties from Express on. So front. Working pockets in the back. So that's it. You've seen everything. Um, just a very quick recap. I am going to say out of this box, my stylist short did deliver, like I said earlier, as far as for some holiday styling. I think right now I'm leaning towards, and I know like the buy four discount. I'm not sure if I'm even going to keep four this time, but you let me know if I'm missing the mark on something. I definitely believe I'm going to keep the, um, wide leg the the pants hang on so running through the list of my items i think i'm going to keep the alice enjoy the frankie wide leg pant the black ones i think i'm going to send back the blue i don't think i have a need for them in my wardrobe and i'm debating between the first top that you saw that gold the ally sheer shine top or the wine dot button down. The reason that I'm kind of leaning more towards the Ally Sheer is my husband's comment. Like I had said to you earlier when I tried that on, um, he made the comment that looked like a grandma top. But then he said to me later, he thought it was the pants. He didn't love the wide leg on the pant. But to be honest, that is the style and I kind of like it. So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with, you know, his comment and move on. Um, but that said, like I said, I think the black pants, um, either the Rowan and Ryan or the wine dot, wine dot button down by Cloth and Stone, and maybe the leather utility shirt jacket, the, the black one, not the white. Um, so that would be my four if I kept four. Otherwise, I think I'd just keep the pants and maybe one of the tops. But let me know your thoughts. You've seen everything. Am I missing something? Like I said, this is unmoving. The sequins are getting caught. So I think that's going to end up being a no-go for the sequin stop, just for me. But anyways, but thank you to all my continuing subscribers for all of your friendship and support. Again, that means the world to me, and I really do appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, hit that button below and join the fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And now I just want to say have a magical day and 